What is going on you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here. Just want to show you my newest purchases from Ringside Collectibles. As always, use code for life to save 10% off your order. Uh, I grabbed the NWO um, ring skirt and ring mat. Figured this would be pretty cool to take some pictures with down the road since I have a an ever-growing NWO Mattel collection with customs or whatever new figures coming out. It was five bucks, so I figured why not? Um, you know, let's get it out. Take a quick look. I can fold it and put it back in the box. I do have two elite scale rings, so it's kind of nice to just have like kind of a, a plain matte canvas on this one and then like a specialized one on the other. Uh, here's the ring skirt. I don't want to unfold it all the way, but it says New World Order on it. And then this guy, the ring mat itself. There you go. And if you guys can see that fully, looks kind of like a flag, but eh, kind of cool. I mean, like I said, I'm a big NWO mark, so this is kind of cool to have. And again, it's it's fairly inexpensive and definitely be pretty cool for pictures. I already had this, the WCW Monday Nitro. But um, I feel like a lot of the stuff is selling out or will sell out eventually. And if anything ever happens to um, the set I already have, I figured instead of paying top dollar on eBay, like I know the rings, um, the ring ropes. If you notice, I got these yellow ropes. That's because uh, Ringside used to sell interchangeable ropes or replacement ropes, but they sold out. And the only ones they had left were these yellow ones for the NXT pack. So I ended up buying those because the black ones I had on here just over time wore and got so loose and just looked awful. Um, hopefully those get, uh, you know, remade eventually down the road. You know, I didn't really want to have to buy a whole new ring to get the ropes. I know some people go to like a, a fabric store or something or buy some type of elastic string. That just sounds like too much work for me. So, um, it is what it is. I got the yellow ropes. It stands out a little differently. Um, and the next thing I grabbed, which is also kind of out of the impulse. Again, I already have him, but uh, I feel like a lot of the Ultimate Edition figures are selling out. I don't know about you guys, but online, all different retailers, the prices are going up and they disappeared pretty quick. Minus like maybe Ronda Rousey and, and Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, I do have multiples of every ultimate edition except for brock becky and shinsuke but i mean i have three red hearts i have i think three Shawn michaels three triple h's two rondas one warrior that's the one i regret not picking up an extra i wanted to never got around to getting it um so it is what it is i mean if anyone could hook me up or knows where i can get a Ultimate Edition Series 1 Warrior at a good price. Feel free to DM me. But uh, Ringside, again, this one went pretty quick. Ringside had up for a little bit, and they were sold out. And to this point, they weren't restocking. I know, I know Becky came back in stock, but I did catch him on the damaged packaging section. So if you look at the back, it's just slightly damaged. I'm going to open it anyway, so that doesn't really bother me. So I figured, why not? I don't know if this is hitting stores. I know... Series 4 hasn't been found in stores. I know Series, what, 6? Amazon exclusive for The Rock. Ringside exclusive for Charlotte. I wasn't going to play games. I wanted this guy. Saw they had a few. I think it was about five or six of them I had posted on my stories that Ringside had them in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed another Cena just to call a day and have a spare. God forbid anything happens to figure. You know, they fall off a shelf, break an arm, something. Or just, I guess, paranoia on my part. But I also did... This is my second Defender. I'm not a mock collector at all. I have one other ringside uh, Defender, and that's for the DM Hulk Hogan, which I got signed from Hogan's Beat Shop. So I bought a Defender to keep that in. And this one, no, it's not going to be for that Cena. I'm already prepping for Hollywood Brothers because when Hollywood comes, upon the masses and masses of... of Hogan figures I plan on ordering once that goes up for pre-order on ringside. I'm going to keep one for sure in box. The five-year journey is coming to an end soon enough. I'm so excited. That legitimately is getting me through 
this crappy 2020. I mean, this figure means more than, I don't know, any other toy to me. It's just, it's a big deal. I've waited five years. It's really depressed when Hogan got booted out from WWE and we couldn't get that uh, defining moments Hollywood Hogan. So just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, obviously it opens in the back. You throw the box in here. Fits pretty good, no problems whatsoever. Seal it up in the back, call it a day. Perfectly protects your mock figures. And again, I'm not a big mock guy. And you know, more power to people who collect mock. I just don't have the space. I feel like I'm already run out of space all my loose figures. I'm already throwing spares and bins, which I said I would never do. It's just, I wanna keep collecting. I just don't have the room for it, you know? But this looks pretty damn cool. Um, I'm gonna get the Cena out. Um, obviously, I've posted pictures of him before, but hope you enjoy this quick little video of uh, some stuff I grabbed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.